All right, let's talk about colors. So the way that processing represents colors is every color is represented by a single number. So I could do this. I could make a new integer up here called my color. And the way that you mix the color is you mix together a certain amount of red, green, and blue. So there's a command called color, and you give it three numbers for how much red and how much green and how much blue you want to mix together. Each of those can be any number between zero, which means none of that color, or 255, which means as much of that color as possible. So 000, zero, zero would mean no red, no green, no blue. So that would be black. 255, 255, 255 would mean as much red and as much green and as much blue as possible, which would mean white. Notice that this is not the same thing as mixing paint. If you were going to mix a lot of red, green, and blue paint together, you would probably get brown. This is more like mixing light. You know, like when you have white light and you split it with a prism, you get a rainbow, which is all of the constituent frequencies. So it's the same thing here. So I'm going to make a color that's red, and it's going to be all red and no green and no blue. And now I'm going to make another color that I'll call green, and that will be no red, all green, and maybe a little bit of blue. And then I'll make another color called blue, blue, that will be a little bit of red and a fair amount of green and lots of blue. Okay, so creating these colors by themselves doesn't actually make anything draw using those colors. Right now, these are just integers. Red just has a number in it. Um, and the computer knows that that number represents the color red, but you have to actually tell it, we want to use this number as the color that we're trying to draw. So here inside draw, you do it with the fill command. So if I said fill red, and now I run it, everything's colored red. What if I want the ellipse to be colored in green? Then I'll put a fill command right before I draw the ellipse. So the way fill works is you can think about it as like, we're going to change the pen color. So when you say fill red, everything you draw after that will be red until you change the pen color again. So now this will be a red rectangle and a green ellipse. There they are. Let's change this one to be a blue rectangle and a green ellipse. There you go. If you want to create new colors on the fly, you can. You don't have to save the color into a variable. I can just say fill with a new color, and the color is going to be random amount of this, uh, random amount of that, random amount of that. So this is a color where I've just generated, just I made up numbers for how much red, how much green, how much blue, and it turns out it's kind of a dark greenish. Okay, that's it. You should know enough to do the problem set now. I hope it's enjoyable. Uh, I think it's always a good idea to tinker and make things that you think are cool because you're going to learn better that way. Enjoy!